What am I doing right now? Get the boy. Can you not post this? <laughs> Please. Right, Lily. I'm happy to tell you that you've passed after four what? lessons of <laughs> four lessons. No, I nearly <laughs> swore then. Sorry. No, I haven't. Yep. Wow. Hey guys, today we have another driving test video, and today's Lena driver. Um, I'll let her introduce herself. So it's Ellie. And Ellie, could you tell us a bit about your driving, please? Um, I've had technically five lessons, but the first one was like four years ago. So I've had four lessons really, and I've got the course. So I'm a fairly confident driver, to be honest. I don't think I'm oh, that. Ho ho hold hesitant. on a second. Firstly, four l four lessons you've had. I've had four lessons, yeah. Okay, and you think you're? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. okay no, right. no, I don't want to say good. <laughs> you've I said it now. Oh, <laughs> it's God. on camera. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I said and I'm confident, not not good. And you know when you say you got the course? Yeah. Tell everyone what course that is. The ultimate driving course. Yeah. She she did mention that as soon as you got in the car. She goes, I'm, I'm quite um. I'm, I'm quite confident. I've got your course. I think I know what I'm doing, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. Yeah, yeah. I've met Ellie before. Um, advantage that she has over uh, many of the other learners that come on the channel is that she's from Wolverhampton, uh, so it saved me a train um, a journey to the train station. Any of you that do want to take part in one of these mock tests, all you need to do is drop us a message on Instagram, and um, yeah, we just select uh, learners from there. Right, Ellie. So those four lessons. So what have you covered? Um, dual carriageways, I've done reverse parking, forward bay parking, um, roundabouts. I've only done like three, but I'm, I know how to do it. And then... So if I take you on big roundabouts and that today, you'd be okay? Yeah. Uh, what haven't you covered so far? Um, parallel parking and the emergency stop. Okay, if I make you do any of those, yeah. how would you feel? I mean, you got to do it once. I've always got to do it for your first time. Okay, cool. So um, I might make you do the main stop and we'll see uh, about the parallel park. If, if I made you do the uh, reverse parallel park, do you think you could do it? I know how to do it. It's just a matter of doing it. So okay. I'd w I want to try. So, and how has the course helped you so far, the ultimate driving course? It skips a lot of the theory that driving instructors teach you in a lesson. So it helps me because my instructor also just lets me do the practical side of driving rather than talking. And that's the whole point of the course. Yeah. yeah? Okay, right. I'm hoping you're a good driver now, yeah? Because <laughs> you're at the course. Don't okay, worry, but... I'll let you down. <laughs> right. Any questions? No, I'm good. We're going to leave the show me tell me questions out. I'm going to make you follow some uh, uh, road signs. Okay. Yeah, uh, for the independent driving All right. uh, direction signs. Um, on the test, they can make you follow the sat nav mm -hmm. or follow signs, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I like the signs because I think it's a bit more challenging. Okay. Okay. Easy right. for me. Move off uh, whenever you're ready. Actually, I'm, doing, I'm being too confident on the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, do, you do sound quite confident. So I'll be driving matches now. I should. Ellie moves off with good observations, remembering to check both blind spots. This way first. I forget, you have to be silent and not. Don't worry, you can talk all you want. Just need to practice getting the bike first. Oh, good, good. What do you do at the moment? Working, studying? Um, I'm at uni and I work, but it's in Birmingham, so... Oh, okay. I'm just here to do my lessons before I graduate. I'm not used to the silence. You can talk if it makes you, makes you more comfortable. You can keep no, talking. No, it's you talking. <laughs> oh. my driving I'm always silent, but my driving instructor's always talking. <laughs> See, when we're doing like a mock test, well, no, it's like the learners too. Yeah. Concentrate. Like even when you test the examiners, may ask you a couple of questions, general questions about what you do and what you would be doing today instead of your test, yeah? Yeah. Um, but that's about it normally. Well then, I see so many learners go when they see that green arrow. Advantage. I've been, I've, I'm in a car like 24 hours a day pretty much. You see, in the amount on my um, house, I okay. just know the roads around here. So, how come you're in the car most of the time? Can you let everyone know? Um, my mom is basically a taxi for me, and I know she's gonna watch this and hate me for it, but <laughs> she's sick of giving me lifts everywhere. So. Oh, 
I know she wants me to start driving so she doesn't have to keep giving me lifts to Birmingham. How has your week been? My week's been good as always, busy with filming, editing and kids. Yeah. So, can't complain. Okay, if you could uh, turn right please. She positions really well at this right turn. This allows the vehicles behind to pass easily. She's also in line with the point of turn, which means not too far back or forward. Ellie stays in second gear. She should have selected third. My instructor said my main problem is my speed. I just remembered. What, I'm driving too fast? Yeah. Because it's 30 and I'm on 31. She slows down well as the gap narrows due to the oncoming and parked vehicles. Ellie shows good lane discipline at this roundabout by keeping to the left and staying in her lane. I see so many drivers drift over into the right hand lane after entering this roundabout. Before signalling left, Ellie should check the centre and left mirrors. She doesn't check them. When turning right at these lights, the oncoming lorry is obstructing our view. Ellie positions well and only goes when she can see it's clear. You did say right, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I thought you said you left. Too late to ask now, anyway. <laughs> Remember, like, if you've been watching the videos, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. if you do go the wrong way, it's not, not an issue. At the traffic lights, turn right, please. Ellie asks a question about driving over these markings. I know, I really want to ask a question now. What? Yeah, you can ask. Am I allowed to go in that white marking on the road just to get in the lane? Well, I've done okay. it now. So, just so you and the viewers can learn, yeah. So, yeah. you know, if it's um, a solid white line, yeah. yeah, next to it, then you can't. Okay. Yeah? But it wasn't a solid white line, so you can. Okay. You can go over those markings to make progress like you just did here. Yeah. Normally, you wouldn't answer, but you did it anyway, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. There wasn't that much gap, so I don't think it was that. When moving off, she rushes off the clutch pedal, so stalls. <laughs> Oh no. Did I stall? Did I stall? Yep, you did. That's fun. Don't put that on the title, please. <laughs> Can't guarantee anything about the title, do you know that? <laughs> My dad is going to be laughing at me. Ellie stops well for the pedestrian at this zebra crossing. When moving off, you should check all three mirrors. She doesn't check them. Mirror checks is definitely one area that Ellie needs to improve on. At this roundabout, she keeps her clutch pedal down. This is what we call coasting.
Ellie doesn't hesitate when she sees the bus parked up. She does the correct thing by overtaking and carries out good mirror checks. And at this roundabout, turn left. At this roundabout, I've asked Ellie to follow signs to Dudley which is straight ahead. Again, she shows good lane discipline. You think he's going so far? I don't think I'm doing too bad from the four lessons. But I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm not going to say anything else. Oh. I only went there because I was already over the line. What are you like on steep hills? I'm good, I know you need to change the gear. Ellie did just say that she was good on hills, but gets quite lucky on this one. She stalls, but there was no vehicle behind. And then she rolls back, but the vehicle behind had kept a safe distance. She managed to move off without holding anyone up for too long and didn't cause any danger. I just failed, didn't I? I can tell. Oh shit, what, what am I doing wrong now? Okay, I haven't done a hill start yet, that was my time to be honest. Thanks, you were good on hills, did you? Um, I lied. Really when you got everything on camera. <laughs> I know, because now you have to pass this. It's fine. I'm learning. It's a learning curve. Right, so... I hate you for bringing me here. <laughs> End of the road, turn right. Right. Okay. Again, Ellie struggles to move off uphill. She stalls and rolls back, but gets there in the end. The key factor here was that there was no vehicle behind. If there was, then this would have been a serious fault. Sometimes you need a bit of luck. Left would have been a lot easier, but it's okay. Right. I'm putting the handbrake on, I'm not doing that. What am I doing right now? Get the bike. Can you not post this? Please. Why is it not restarting? Cause already on you. Yeah. Well, that's even more embarrassing, isn't it? Okay. First gear. Get the white acceleration. And there we go. I was forgetting to bring the clutch on. She approaches this bend too fast. Always anticipate that there could be a large vehicle coming around the bend. Ellie wasn't quite ready for it. Slowly, slowly. There we go. I always come off the clutch too fast sometimes in my lessons. That's normally why I struggle. We 
hadn't done any right turns at big roundabouts until this one. Ellie does it quite well. She isn't too sure about which exit to take, so asks. I would advise asking earlier. She does check the mirrors before exiting the roundabout. Ellie reacts and stops quite well. The braking could have been firmer but wasn't bad for someone who hasn't done the emergency stop before. She remembers the checks before moving off but again stalls. Stop! Thank you and move off when you're ready. There wasn't that much of an awkward silence then. Oh wait, wait. I know what the title of this video is going to be. Stalling. Okay. Is this because I'm not used to the bite of this car? We're going to finish the test off with the reverse bay parking manoeuvre. If Ellie does this without making a serious fault, she passes the test. That's fine, about here. If you could reverse into any one of these bays, please. Okay. Instead of reversing from this position, Ellie decides to go forward to angle the car, which is okay to do. These bays on the left, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Before reversing, Ellie carries out good all-round observations. She does ask if she's allowed to use the camera. We discuss this in more detail during the feedback. Can I use the camera or not? Um, okay, no. Because my driver just said they let you use them in the test if the car has it. Yeah, you can. But you can use to help you. Ellie isn't positioned inside the bay, so decides to readjust. You can readjust the position a couple of times. The main thing is that you do good observations before readjusting. Ellie's observations were good. Okay. How many attempts do I get to readjust it? I'll leave that to you for now. Okay. Come in the line. Okay. Come in the line. That's the end of the test, and it's time to tell Ellie that she's passed. Something she wasn't expecting. I can't see it in this mirror. Okay, so if you have a look at the little round mirrors I got on there. Oh, yeah, I'm in the line. Okay. Right, if you could. Uh, a bit crooked, but. Yeah, uh, switch off the engine, please. We are done. That was quick. 
Yeah, we've been driving for what? 45 minutes. That's why I have two hour lessons and <laughs> I feel too short. Okay, right, so how do you think you did? I know I've probably failed, but like that's a given because I've had four lessons. But at the same time, I don't think I've done too bad. Either results are learning curve, so I can put whatever I've failed on into my lessons. What do you think you failed on? See, I'm not sure if there was a car behind me on that hill. But if there was, then I failed on that because I held him up. There wasn't? I, it wasn't a serious fault then on that. It was a minor. Yeah, so... But, serious fault. What else did I do? I don't know. Right, Ellie. I'm happy to tell you that you've passed after four what? lessons of... <laughs> four lessons. No. I nearly <laughs> swore then, sorry. No, I haven't. Yep. Wow. Uh, like you seen on the channel, don't get many passes yet. I wasn't expecting this either. Uh, you came close to failing, you know, with those tools. Yeah, yeah. But just your reaction, it's like you were really disheartened when you stole. It's because I need to understand what I did. Yeah, we'll go through that. But you, you, you worked right in then, which means you've got the knowledge there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So when you did stall, it, you're, you're, from your body language, it's like, oh. yeah? yeah? Okay. Don't be like that. Be like, okay, let me sort this out. Yeah. Yeah, because... Luckily, the first time you stalled on that hill, you did roll back, but that van had a good gap from you. Yeah. And you, and you sorted out just in time. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? And when you did initially stall, the van wasn't there then. Yeah? And you, so you didn't hold in for too long at all. Yeah. And the second time on that hill, um, on that steep uphill junction, there was, there was no one there. You did take a bit of time, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you did roll back quite a bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay? If there's somebody behind, that, that would have been a fail. To be fair to me, I've never been on a hill that steep. I've literally done the bridge on the Dean's Road, which is not steep. There's there's two things the, uh, two things that you need to work on. Mm -hmm. One is hills. Yeah. Yeah, and the other one your mirrors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, gears. Your timing of gears, like for example, you know when you're approaching, say traffic lights, the lights are red. Yeah. Yeah. Your say you're driving in gear three. You don't yeah. have to rush for your gear quickly. Slow the car down with the brake, and you're going to be stopping anyway. So brake. Clutch the, then clutch pedal down yeah. and then come to a stop and just before stopping select gear one so you're okay. ready to move yeah, yeah. and it, you're rushing for the clutch sometimes yeah okay so that you need just a bit of work on just tidying that up a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. okay and definitely lesson on hills so you've got you've yeah. got the driving course watch that video on the hills i recently did a video on my on the youtube channel where i'm teaching lena phoebe and she did hills yeah, yeah? Uh, watch that, that's going to help you okay. as well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, there were a few minors, but they, they were mainly for that, the stalling and the mirrors. But there were a lot of good points, your lane discipline at roundabouts yeah. was was very good, yeah. I could have like, obviously I did these roundabouts in at the end, you know those right turns that we did, because yeah. we hadn't done any right turns so far. Yeah. So I wanted to uh, test you on those as well, yeah. And obviously those uh, steep hills and that. Yeah. But yeah, you did you did really well. Thanks. Okay. Um, with the manoeuvre, you were asking how many times can I go forward. You, you can do that a couple of times. Just make sure you do your observations. Your obser yeah. observations were decent. I was a bit confused first because you got first gear. I thought you got that by mistake here. Yeah. Yeah. And then you steer into the right. So what's she doing? But you, you, yeah, you, that's you, the, you it, it's the easier for me to do it that way. And the question you asked about the camera. Again, you know when you ask questions that I don't answer yeah, while, yeah. We're, while we're in uh, test mode. But you can use the camera, but don't get into the habit of staring in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's that is my like fear when I teach learners to to use the camera. Yeah, one you might you might get a car that you haven't got a camera in. Yeah, yeah, and you know when, uh, after you passed, um, but then don't just rely on that. Okay. Make sure you know how to do 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 with that. Like, I mean, am I definitely in the lines? Yeah. You can tell, like, what you're allowed to do is well, you're allowed to put the mirrors down. Oh. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So you can, before you do any manoeuvre, put the mirrors down so you got, you got a good good view of the uh, bay lines. Okay. Like, if you look at the small blind spot mirrors, which most instructors have, yeah. you can see the lines in there as well. Yeah. Any questions? No, I think I'm good. Right, Ellie, thank you very much Thanks. for doing the mock test. And, uh, guys, like always, well, first, let us know what you think about Ellie's driving uh, for four lessons. And uh, like always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.